Hello, everybody. What is up? We got more Pokemon Go things to unbox. And when I say more, I mean a lot more. How much is a lot? I don't know. Try two complete collections of the teams. That's that's how much. This is what is 90 this is 180. Oh my god. What is this? This is so dumb. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I ended up buying one set, right? One each. Not bad. But then I ended up buying two of these because I am Tim Mystic. And then I ended up just buying two more of these. And uh, now I just have two sets of them. And I've noticed that this is basically an entire booster box because each one of these comes with six packs and I have six of them. So six times six is 36. That is the amount of a booster box. I, oh my God, I'm gonna turn off the stream. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> okay, here's the bottom. Special collection, Mystic, Instinct, Valor, all these different teams. Each one comes with six booster packs. Each one comes with the leader. Oh, it's kind of cool. The silhouette also has the leader in the silhouette. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then you also have the Mystic, Instinct, and Valor pins, all from Pokemon Go. That's the bottom. These are the sides. Before Pokemon Go came out, I initially wanted to keep these as sealed for a sealed collection, but nah, nah. I kind of just want to open them all, honestly. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe somebody would want to buy these in the future because of the same reason why I bought two right now. Maybe they just like Pokemon Go, you know? Yeah, we got the pins. We'll have a closer look of the pins after we open the boxes. But yeah, let's look at the back of the box. Bam. Nothing beats exploring the world with your teammates by your side. Proudly let other trainers know which team you're on with the eye-catching Team Valor pin in this collection. You'll also find Candela, the team leader of Valor, as a playable supporter card that helps you draw cards and gets energy into play. Plus a stack of booster packs from the Pokemon Go expansion. Code cards, the only thing that isn't mentioned from the bottom. that You get a bunch of code cards. But yeah, I assume everything's the same. Nothing beats in the world. The eye-catching instinct pin. Spark. As the only thing they changed is the name, team name, and the leader name. Ooh, Niantic. Notice Niantic's name in a Pokemon TCG product. Here's Team Mystic. Nothing beats the in the world. Eye-catching Team Mystic pin. And you'll also find Blanche. The leader of Team Mystic. What is kind of funny to me is that these three team leaders, none of them have ever gotten any other art. Until Pokemon Go was released, Candela, Spark, and Blanche have only ever had one official art of them, which is these exact ones. These are, this is the stock image of all three of the leaders. They've never gotten another official art of them. They've just, they've stood in the same poses for the last, what, six years? And now we finally have some alternate art of these three trainers. <laughs> I also kind of like how they're all wear they're all repping their team on their back. I don't know, Candela has like a, has the symbol on her back. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of like a, a biker gang or something. <laughs> we're gonna have a closer look at everything after we open them. We're gonna separate them by team and we're gonna see which team is better. <laughs> It's gonna be instinct. No, just kidding. I swear I'm not going to stack any of the teams because that wouldn't be fun if I just made t instinct win, you know? Oh yeah, also, another one of the reasons why I bought two of them is because I wanna have one in this, this triple display. I've always wanted to have like an actual really cool thing in this triple display. Right now, the only thing I have in a triple display is honey mustard. <laughs> so far, I've only ever had honey mustard in this display. I wanted another thing to put in here. So I'm gonna put all three of the leaders in this one. But if we get a Articuno in one of these, which hopefully we do, there's 36 packs. If we get Articuno, Professor's Research, and then the two gold cards, which the two gold cards might be asking for a lot, but you know, it's possible. I got five of them from the same store and I got one of them from another store. I've definitely picked out of random ones so they could have come from different boxes. There's, def there's definitely a chance that we could get all of those cards, but if we do, I'll give away every single code card, except for, nah, you know what, screw it. I'll give away every single code card if we get Articuno, Willow Professor's Research Full Art, Gold Lure Module, and Gold Egg Incubator. After that, we can fill out a nine page instead of just a three page. We'll see. If we do get a nine page, we're gonna have Blanche, Professor's Research, uh, Spark and Candela, or Candela and Spark. I forgot which one was left and which one was right. And then we're gonna have Zapdos, uh, Moltres, Articuno, and then the gold, two gold cards. That'd be pretty cool. Or we're gonna have Mewtwo alt art. That'd be kind of sick if we got Mewtwo alt art. But yeah, if we hit all those cards, I'll give away every single code card. Um, let's get into the mass openings. We're gonna do some cool double time speed thing. And then we're gonna put each pack from each box in their individual thing. 
Let's do it. All right, that, uh, my room is a mess. My room is a mess. Here you go. We have six stacks, all six of them with six packs. Uh, I'm not a rapper. We got six cards. Oh, yeah, six cards. One for each leader. Twice. We're gonna put that to the side. That's my wager. Oh, sorry, Candela. Oh, here we're starting it off. We got Candela. Beam, beam, beam. Team Red, my rival. I'm not a red guy. I'm more of a blue guy. You know what I mean? Yellow is also my second favorite color, so... But dang, this is looks good. This is a good looking card. Dang. Actually, it's a good looking card. The sky looks really good. The thumbprint texture looks really good. I love the design of the jacket. The jacket ref is reflecting really cool, really well. I think that's pretty sweet. I also have a new set of Ultra Pro. Uh, if you guys don't know what time it is, it is 3.30 a.m. the 5th of July. Last night was the 4th of July. I am just kind of hyped because it's kind of sick with all the fireworks I saw. If we combine the fireworks and the fact that I have 36 Pokemon Go packs fresh to open, it's kind of hard for me to sleep right now. So I kind of kind of just want to open everything. Here we go. We got Spark. Look at that. This is the Instinct Leader. All about doing what's fun, doing what you want to do. All three of these cards are practically the same. Just swap out the energies based on the team leader. We got the fingerprint texture. Um, I love the jacket, the way this jacket shines. Although because the jacket is black, it's kind of not as cool as Candela's. Gotta give it to Candela's jacket. Candela's jacket's pretty sweet because it's white and red. This one's black and yellow. Black and yellow's not bad, but the yellow doesn't pop as much as the red did on white. Of course, y'all, we gotta save the best for last. Blue team leader, launch in the building. The jacket. This one, like I said earlier, it was black on yellow, or it was yellow on black, it was red on white, but this is white on purple. This is white and purple on blue. Blanche got the styling going on. They know what they're doing. But yeah, this, out of all three of them, of course, this one's going to be my favorite. It's blue, but they also got the aura, Aurora Borealis. They also, they also got the Aurora Borealis in the background. How can you, how can you deny that? Well, someone's gotta be the best. And of course it's gonna be Blanche. That's kind of cool though. Blanche is the only one with a third color. Everybody else is neutral color and their primary color. Well, Blanche is their primary color and then the neutral color, but then they also have a purple accent. That's pretty cool. All right guys, the stage is set. Let's just move somebody. Do this, Sam. Do this, Sam. There you go. Boom. We got blue team. We got yellow team. We got red team. This setup just like it was in the game that faithful day, 2016, where everybody had to choose a team leader. Um, actually, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to double check. I know for a fact that blue was in the center. Good thing we have a game theory video that specifically talked about their orientation. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Which team do you notice first? When you oh no, I was wrong. Red was on the right side, yellow was on the left side. Okay, so, yep, there you go. Which team do you pick? The right red, the left yellow, or the center? Um, real quick, let's look at the, ooh, these pins are sweet. I love these pins. Oh man, here we got the instinct pin. Love those sharp edges. Here we got the mystic pin. We got more sharp edges. And then here we got the valor pin, round circle fire uh this isn't a very good way of displaying them there you go we'll do it one by one we got instinct very simple very triangular lots of pokey edges um here's the back side doesn't say the official pokemon game. that's weird it's got a 3d element to it it's two pieces of metal put together so you got that you got some depth to it here we got the mystic pin the best pin <laughs> same thing we got two pieces of metal put together got that depth and then you can see where they bolted the 
pieces together. And then here is the red team. Bam. <laughs> as much as I diss on the red team, dude. Circles are cool. Love circles. You can put a Pokeball behind there and it wouldn't change the uh, design at all. Pokemon Go. Let's go back to 2016 when the world was somewhat a simpler place. It saved me from the hellhole that was 2020. All right, so we looked at the trainer cards. We looked at the pins. All that's left is to do this triple team pack battle which which team is going to be best and which single pack is best because it's possible for a team to win but for a single box to be the best that's totally possible all right so here we go we got six packs we're going to open all six at the same time for each one of these try to save time and trying to save my my future editing self some headache but yeah happy 5th of july everybody let's open some packs All right, everybody, here you go. We are done, and we got that first box. We got Spark done. This is Spark's box. Here we got the energies, bam, bam, bam. All right, so let's go through the commons real fast. I think, uh, oh, Charmeleon is the first time I've seen the Charmeleon. First time we've seen Charmeleon. We're just gonna keep going through, I think, until, ooh, first time I've seen Ariados. That's a really nice art. <laughs> Camerupt. Is this the first time I saw Camerupt? I'm not sure. Hey, this is the first time we've seen Blanche, though. That's pretty cool. And, ooh, this is, for some reason, that's the first Natu we've seen. Huh. Hey, first Natu we've seen. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, and she's on, he's on a soldier. That's that's pretty cool. That's it for the Spark Commons. Let's look at the Spark Uncommons. We getting any dittos today? Who knows? We got Lapras. Let's go. First Lapras ever. For some reason, it always, whenever I think of Lapras in Pokemon Go, I always think of Australia. Not gonna lie to you guys, I definitely spoofed in the first year. When I say first year, I meant the first, like, month or two. Like I said before in my previous videos, I was in a place that didn't support Pokemon Go that much. And I definitely caught a Lapras in Australia. But, you know, I don't do it anymore. Um, it's too much work and it's not really worth it. But yeah, we got the Nazi, we got the Pupitar, we got the Charmander, we got the Bidoof, we got the Ditto! Bidoof! We got the Ditto, Bidoof. Look at that. We're gonna, we're gonna keep that to the side. We're not gonna peel that sticker just yet. Let's try and get all three of them and then peel the sticker, huh? This is, we're gonna wait for that one. Here's the rares. These are the hits. Let's get an Articuno. All right, let's go. Boom, we got Venusaur. Nice, like that Venusaur. We got the Lapras, very nice. We got Sylveon. I didn't know Sylveon was in this set, honestly. That's cool. I mean, I guess they needed something for Eevee to evolve into. But, you know, we got the promo Pikachu again. We got the Gyarados. We got a Melmetal V. Oh my God, we got the full art Melmetal. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. I got a, I love this. I like that. There you go. We're gonna sleeve that up, boy. We gotta sleeve that up Melmetal, my boy. We got all versions of Melmetal now. All right, bam. This is all three versions of the Melmetal. We got the normal pull, normal pull of Melmetal from a pack. We got the Pokemon Go promo from the V Battle deck. And we got the full art. Pretty sweet, gotta love it, gotta love it. Full art Melmetal, that's what we're started off with. Pretty darn good. Oh, also the Bidoof card, which is horribly off center. We might peel this one if we get another Bidoof card. All right, let's go with Valor. Let's try this one. Let's get the outsides working in because I would like to do my Mystic last. We got one Melmetal V. We'll do this. Damn. This is for Melmetal V. Good pull. All right, we did it. I really like opening all these cards at once, separating their energies and rares and non-rares. We got two fighting, we got two electric. One water, one steel, Dialgapalkia. Where you at? Where you at, Dialgapalkia? I'll tell you what, they're not in my collection because I can't pull a single Dialgapalkia or their alt arts or their full arts or their restars. Like, what's going on? All right, real quick, let's go, bam. There you go. I think we've got every single, I think we hit every single common in the set already with uh, 10 packs plus the six from Sparks. That's cool. So, so for so for the next ones, I think I'm gonna scream through them. I'm not even gonna read their names or anything. I'm just gonna look for anything we haven't seen before. But here you go. We got the reverse hollows. We got Aria Dose. We got Pansy. I like that. We got Tyranitar. Let's go, baby. We got Magic Card. We got Lure Module. We got Tranquil. And uh, that's it. Wait, what? 
That was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, uh, Candela, I know I, I give you a lot of shit, but uh, uh, pick it up. <laughs> we got Sylveon. We got Snorlax. There you go. Look at that. That's Snorlax. We got Block. As long as this Pokemon's in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon cannot retreat. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. Rapid Strike Dex. Woot. <laughs> we got, oh, we got Moltres again. All right. Candela trying to bring out their bird. We got Gyarados again. Whoa. Oh, we got a full art executor, dude. What? Look at that. That's so, ah, that's kind of cool, actually. Ah, full art executor. Executor. Alo sorry, a lowland executor. Whatever. We got two full hearts in a row. We got a Lapras and that, that's it. <laughs> I totally thought there was something else. But hey, let's go. That's a hit. That's a good hit. We got two full arts in a row. That's kind of insane, guys. I don't know. We're going to have to buy the Alolan Executor uh, collector box at some point. Here you go. Another W with the Alolan Executor full art. I get a hit. You get a card pack. Why not? Just one. Only one person in the audience is going to get these things, I guess. Um, unless multiple people watch it at the same time and skip to different parts of the video and then redeem it right then and there. But who knows? I don't know. I don't even think anybody watches my videos. So if you watch my video, leave a comment. <laughs> Let me know. We're going to do another spark. We're leaving Blanche for last because we got a rep for Team Mystic. But yeah, here we go. Ugh. Slap for go. All right, there you go. We got it. Sort it out. Da -na 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 -na. Here are the energies. There you go. We got one of each and the V-Star. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Let's go. Yep. Absolutely nothing in the comments. We've definitely hit all the comments. All right. What is up, Yellow Team? Team Instinct, show me what you got. I always give team red shit but that's because i don't really know anybody from team red i'm on blue of course and a lot of my friends are on blue the only person that i know that it's on yellow is trainer tips nick and that's the pokemon go tuber that i was following for a long time so trainer tips nick this is what your team is repping show me what you got we got ardos we got pokestop we got pedo we got venusaur pretty cool loopy lasso that's kind of crazy if you can do it so that you could flip multiple coins that'd be kind of sick but coin flips kind of suck and there you go no dittos, although I'll give you props for the Venusaur Reverse Hollow. But yeah, we got Galissapod for the rares. We got Klong Kelder. Klong, 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 Klong. We got Con, Klong, Klong Kelder, Klong Kelder, um, with the clown nose, and the old man face. You know, if they just give him a different face, I think I'd like this Pokemon a little better. Like the muscly body and veins and holding pillars is kind of cool, but like uh, there's something, I don't know, the face looks kind of weird to me. We got promo Pikachu. We got Moltres again. We got Snorlax and we got Gyarados again. All right, Team Instinct, that wasn't too hot. There you go. You got a Conk Helder for that hit. So far, we've gotten a V in every single box. So that's cool. Let's put the pins on the sides. The Instinct one doesn't work because the bottom is literally a point. But yeah, we're done with Instinct. Uh, Conk Helder is not cool. Wow, I didn't mean to insult Conk Helder like that. Sorry, Conk Helder fans, but no code cards for the Conk Helder. But yeah, let's get it. This is Team Valor's last chance as well. And we're going into the double block zone. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to make some cool slaps, but it didn't work. All right, there you go. Um, we definitely got a hit. Uh, one, two, three, four. Ooh, we got two yellows. We got two greens. That's about it. You know, both of the Team Valor boxes, there was no V-Star in both of the Team Valor ones, but the Team Instinct ones both had V-Stars. I wonder if that has anything to do with the box itself. But yeah, let's go. Nothing new. We hit all the commons. Nothing new. These are the hits. Oh, did I mess that up? No, I didn't. These are reverses. I know one of the reverses and I know one of the hits because uh, if you notice during the fast forward, uh, the hit got stuck to the reverse hollow. So I had to like separate it and I accidentally like looked and I was like, oh, okay, that's what that card is. So <laughs> if you're looking for code cards, there's definitely gonna be a code card on this one. But yeah, here we go. We got Amipong, we got Squirtle, we got Unpheasant, we got Pikachu. <gasps> we finally got a rating card. Oh my God, it took six, 12, 44, 34 packs to finally get a Radiant card, dude. 
Yeah, there you go. We got the Radiant Charizard. Look at that. Excited Heat. For each prize card the opponent has, this attack costs less. So for one energy, you can do 250. You put a Choice Belt and you'll hit a V-Star. Real bad. And then we got a Pokestop. I'll give a I'll give a code card for that one. Jeez, let's go. We got our Lapras. We got Articuno. Bam, 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 bam. All we need now are the two gold cards and Professor's Research Full Art. And then we're doing the nine page combo. We got Blissey, dude. Blissey locking it down. Oh man, it's on a red team, Jim. And it came from Team Valor, dude. That's kind of hilarious. That's kind of crazy. We got a Team Valor gym being held down by Blissey coming from the Team Valor box. That's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, enriching it. His Zen headbutt. As you can see, oh, we definitely got something. Let's, oh, hey, we got a V Star. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. We got Mewtwo, Mewtwo V Star, and the centering is horrible on this thing. But of course, we did get one before in the uh, Radiant EV collection. So, definitely something we've seen before. We got Sylveon, definitely something we've seen before. And Tyranitar, definitely something we've seen before. Not bad, guys, not bad. Let's zoom out. All right, this one's probably the best one so far with a V-Star, Radiant Charizard, Articuno, which is something I said we were facing today. All right, Blanche, let's go. Team Mystic, we gotta rep it. We gotta show up is what we gotta do. I really do like Blissey though, so I'm pretty hyped about this card. All right, y'all. There you go. Let's give away two code cards for that one. We'll give away a third one. This one is three code cards. Team Valor giving away three code cards right now. It's four points for Team Valor because of the Alone Executor. You got one point for Team Instinct. I am sorry. Team Instinct. More like Team Instinct. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult Team Instinct. Do love Team Instinct. But Team Valor showing up with the V-Star and uh, full art. But yeah, here you go. We got six packs. Let's go. First Team Mystic show up. All right, we did it. So now that I think about it, chances of getting both Professor's Research and the two gold cards out of these last two boxes are pretty low. There you go. Those are all the commons. Look at the energies. We got a V-Star out of this one, proving that for some reason Valor isn't a star. What's going on, Valor? You're not, you're not a star? You don't like being in the limelight, huh? <laughs> not a V-Star, huh? But we're starting off. We got Mel Metal. Very nice. We got Lapras again. We got Meltan and again. We got Pikachu. We got Egg Incubator and we got a Lunatone. Dude, we did not hit another Ditto at all. Dude, we got one Bidoof Ditto. Hella off center. So that kind of sucks. But bam, we got Tyranitar again. I do love Tyranitar, but this is the third or fourth time we've gotten Tyranitar. I'm kind of sad. We got Mel Metal again. Mel Metal, that might be it. Or actually, no, it looks like there's something else here. Oh, we got Snorlax. We got Gyarados. We got Mel Metal V Max. Hey, we got Mel Metal and V Max in the same box. Kind of sick. And then we got so no radiance, no dittos, just male metal. Ah, uh, that's one or two cards. That's probably two. Not too great. Two code cards for that one. Well, I just got four cards, so I just need to hit twice. We're still missing Radiant Venusaur and Radiant Blastoise, and we're still missing Professor's Research and both of the gold cards. Yeah, here we go. This is uh the two points. Two points for Mystic. I need to get three more points if we're trying to win. Otherwise, we're gonna tie with Valor like we normally do. But here we go, last Pokemon Go stack. If we get two gold cards and Professor's Research in here, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna buy like a case of the Alolan Executor box and then just open that whole thing at once. Who knows? Which is gonna suck too, because if we do that, we're gonna complete the set and there's no reason to have any more Pokemon Go cards. But why not? I don't know. For content, right? We're gonna do it for the content. Also, we still haven't hit the Dragonite V-Star, so. All right, there you go. That's it. None of the commons, like I said. We've seen every single common already. And we got no V-Star. So all these energies are unique, though. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if that means anything. But here you go. Um, Here we go. We are entering the final countdown. Kind of nervous. Come on. Give me a ditto, please. Give me a ditto. A ditto. Please give me a ditto. We got a ditto. Hey, look at that. All we got to do is whine annoyingly. And we got a bit a ditto. Such a... Thick card, you could feel it when you like shake it. Like you can feel the weight of the sticker. Hey, it looks like we're gonna be opening a Ditto card today, so that's cool. And they're both the Bidoofs. Uh, does that count as a code card? I don't know. But here, let's go. These are the rares. We need we need three to beat Valor. Three to beat Valor. And we. 
We, we got the Rainbow Rare V-Star Dragonite. Is that good? I don't know. How much is this? Probably not that much. Dragonite is a fan favorite. It could be biased. It could be saying that's biased. We did not get any more Radiance, so that kind of sucks. Need to get Blastoise. Need to get Venusaur. But hey, we got that Rainbow Rare. I just said how we needed a uh, Dragonite. Now we haven't hit Dragonite yet. But there you go. We got the V-Star version of it. And <laughs> I don't know. We got Lapras. Yes. We got something. Oh, we got some. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a slacking. Hey, that's new. I forgot slacking was in this set. There you go. Kind of lazy. If you have exactly two, four, or six prize cards remaining, this Pokemon can't attack. Kind of lame, but if you pass to the peak, you don't need to. You know, I don't need to worry about it. Pass to the peak. You play Magma Basin. You attach a Fire Energy. You use Magma Basin to attach a second Fire Energy, and then you have Charizard Burn Brightly. You have four energies. You do the two sixty. No, that's a lot of setup. That's a lot of setup. But hey, we got the slacking. That's cool. That's a card, isn't it? I don't know. We didn't give a card for the other V, but that is a slacking we haven't seen before. Uh, I also just don't like Hong Kelder. And I think that's it. No, oh, there you go. What is this? <laughs> what is this? What did we get for Team Valor? We got Radiant Charizard. We got Mewtwo. We got Articuno. We also got the Alolan Executor. Bam, bam. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is stronger. So I think Valor won, honestly. Because Valor got the Radiant, Valor got the Articuno. Dang, dude. Uh, we got, uh, we we lost. We lost. We lost to Valor, everybody. Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> it did kind of suck. We did not hit a single gold card. Nor did we get Versus Research. But we did get the three birds, so that's kind of cool. But hey ho, that's it. Oh, yeah, so Dragonite V Star, Slacking. The, the Ditto, right? Slacking Ditto. Dragonite V-Star. I think Dragonite V-Star is worth two. There you go. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. But I'm not a rapper. Here you go. That is it. That is all we got. That is all she wrote for the Mystic Valor and Instinct Pokemon Go Special Collection Showdown. Um, look at all these code cards I get to keep. <laughs> Suck it. Here you go. You get another one. You can have another one. Bam. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm going to look at the three leaders and then I'm going to put them into that case that I showed you guys. All right, here you go. What are we going to do? Is there a way that we could do this properly? Is there a way? Can we just... Bah. And then it will transfer the sticker onto this. That'd be kind of cool. This is it. This is the first Ditto unwrapping on my channel. How do you, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Ditto. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, well, it's still sticky. Ah, uh, no, we messed up. We messed up. It's on the side. It's on the corner. Oh. We should definitely put the sticker on something. But I'm gonna put it back on a card because I'm a basic B doof. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, you can see a little bit sticking off. No form of preparation can account for human error. <laughs> you can see at the bottom right there. But yeah, you can see it over here when because uh, of the reflectiveness. Exactly a millimeter on one, two, three sides, and then sort of that one. But there you go. We got the B doof star back. Here you go. Let's look at the ditto. That's also so. <laughs> Dig it. Uh, is the is the hollow supposed to bleed through? Is that a ditto thing? Let's look at the hollow. The hollow is bleeding through and it's going through the whole card. Huh. Maybe this is the reverse hollow ditto. Uh huh. Maybe that's what it is. It's totally possible. I didn't think that the ditto underneath the sticker would also be horribly bordered. Bidoof. We're going to sleeve up the real one. The real Bidoof. Or the real, the real ditto? That's a fallacy, I think. Is that the right word? Fallacy? You can tell that there's a sticker on there because it's having a really hard time going into this top loader. Here you go. These are the three that we're going to put in the display. We have an Articuno here. We also have, yep, there you go, Voltres and a Zapdos. Bam, bam, bam. All right, here you go. This is the bonus round of this video. Bam, we got this. We're gonna open it up. We got the Dragon Shield Perfect Fits. We're gonna see if this works. Well, you know what? It shouldn't work. In a lot of ways, this isn't going to work. Because I'm pretty sure these things aren't made for two cards. Uh, yeah, it's not made for two cards. We, we broke it. It's, uh, it's not working. 
Is there a way to put two cards in one sleeve? Maybe we just throw it in there, huh? No, we just we should just do it. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna we're doing it live. We're doing it live. We're not gonna use the perfect shields, perfect bits. We're not gonna use any sleeves. We're just gonna put the cards back to back and then we're gonna put them in here. All right, we're gonna put two cards in one slot each. Adela's on the right side. Can we put two cards in one thing? Probably not. I don't think this is rated for that, but I really did kind of want to do it. This is the main reason why I got two copies of the, uh, of the special collector's edition, because I wanted to do this. Even if it does fit, if they're not perfectly on top of each other, you'll see the blue border from the part in the front. Yeah, that's weird. I don't like that at all. I don't like how, like, if you hit it, they move. Alright, there you go. Now, I'm not sure if this is too great. Yeah, there's, uh, there's... Eh. If you zoom in, you can see the part of the front. This is kind of sick, actually. I don't know why this one looks better. Why does this look better? Huh. If we go like this, will they align? Nope. nope. Spark is definitely out of line. I believe Candela is as well. There's something about this is kind of cool. Although it does kind of suck, Zapdos is, like, colors aren't the same because Zapdos is more yellow than the other two and then there's yellow on these two it's weird um i do like that like this bam and then you go like this pretty cool now the way that everyone's looking i think spark should be in the center launch is looking to the left and della is looking to the right spark is looking straight ahead but i do kind of like how the sun is setting and the sun is rising and then launch is at night time this is really cool i don't like that they're not properly centered and i hate that like as I put it down and as I lifted it, they would move, and that was really annoying. But now that it's screwed, they won't line up. They won't align. So maybe it's not the best to put two cards next to each other. But I don't know. I just like the idea of doing this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Right? Isn't that kind of cool? But yeah, there you go. We're going to leave it at that. I think that was a pretty enjoyable stream. I am actually tired now. It is time to sleep. Yeah, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope this was a fun format to, to open this product. Being a player of Pokemon Go, especially during that first year, man, everybody was super, it was almost like a gang thing, dude. Everybody was like, yo, what color are you? You yellow? Are you blue? Are you red? Yo, man, did you take the water tower, bro? I can't believe you've done that. We're gonna have to take it back. We're gonna teach you a lesson. Um, also, if you guys stayed, here you go. Here's some code cards for each one of the boxes. And then here's another code card for another pack. I don't know who's going to do this. Anybody actually stayed to this point? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I did, but I'm exhausted, so I'm not exactly enjoying it right now. But yeah, everybody else, thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Suda Inkari. Rest well. Be safe.